Good afternoon guys and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to open this box with you and show you what's inside it and we'll try to uh, like install it together. That's actually uh, a new burr for the Starseeker Edge grinder, the burr that's uh, newly released, the titanium coated burr. So I'm going to open the box and show you how the burr looks like. And uh, I actually, I didn't plan to order it, but I, it just happened. So I thought of like capturing this on the camera and showing you how it, uh, how it looks and uh, I'll try to grind some beans with it also to see if there's any difference in taste or the grind settings. I actually ordered the shins with the birds as well. So in, the, in, in one of my previous videos, I actually uh, showed you how to shim the grinder and shimming it means to put some like uh, it's like shim is like some parts that you put under the like a washer or so under the under the burr in order to raise it a little bit up so this would give you uh, more grind range so if you need to grind finer you actually can with the shim so this is how the the burr looks and these are the new shims that's actually better than the I would say better than the, the aluminum foil I used because the aluminum foil I, uh, I used maybe not very precisely cut or any of that but this is machined very well and that's the same part there's a shim already installed in the grinder by default so that's the same kind of shim that's already there in the grinder so they sent two more shims with it as well as the new burr it comes like that so that's coming uh, with a new burr carrier um, that's titanium coating on the burr and that is the burr cone this is the same 48 millimeters burr but this is a black color because of the titanium coating on it so titanium coating should be uh, good for, for burrs in terms of what? in terms of uh, longer time or longer lifespan for the burr as well as supposedly better uh, grinding or better uh, like sharpness for the edges so this would help you get a better grind settings and they told me that the, the taste would probably sound a little bit uh, sour so if you if you use anaerobic beans or if you use fruity uh, kind of beans uh, in processing this should give you a better uh, clarity for the for the beans you use if they have fruit notes or fruit uh, flavor notes so to install the burr, it's a very simple thing. We just need to take the grinder apart. So I take the grind dialer, a dial indicator, and then I unscrew the, the collar. Like that. And then I have to take the bearing slowly. And it's actually a good chance also to clean the grinder and then put the shim. I'll try to put the two shims together and see what range I'm going to get. So I would know the range by looking at the zero, the new zero point, will it land at the same point, which is number one, or will it go further after number one? That's the burr carrier of the older burr. Okay. This is the sign I used to add to know that that's the right direction for it. And uh, I think I'm gonna use a brush to quickly clean it like that so that's the amount of, of grounds that will be there that's a very fine grounds that's why it will stick kind of on the bird so I'm luckily having a sink next to my coffee tools and uh, this is helping me a lot to clean everything on the sink without making a mess around my coffee tools. I'm faced with a challenge right now because in some times I speak in English in my videos and some other times I speak in Arabic because I'm actually from Egypt so I keep on thinking which language should I use so you can help me with that can post your comments, ask me which language should I use in my videos. I know that YouTube has a translation feature, but it also requires some effort to look at every sentence I said and then correct the translation or add uh, unnecessary or add necessary spaces or commas or all that. So it takes me a little bit of effort 
I kind of get to be busy to, to edit the videos as it should be and nobody is helping me with my videos even I don't like cut anything of the videos I just open the camera I speak to you and that's how I do everything so you tell me please what should I do so right now I'm trying to clean the remaining amount of the of the coffee grounds and as you see it's very little luckily I have this that's like a a vacuum so it keeps my counter very clean that's a Xiaomi vacuum I like it so much I use it since more than uh, a year and a half and it's so far very solid in performance it's, uh, it's charged by USB-C so it's easy to use the same charger from my phone to charge um, the vacuum so right now I'm using the same uh, like the screwdriver that came with the niche grinder they also sent a similar one with, uh, sorry, with uh, the grinder in the box. But I'm fine to use the same tool I have for both of them. So clockwise, I managed. I managed to unscrew the the burr. And here it is. When you remove the burr, you have to take care because there is a washer and there is also another washer. So two washers like that and then the burr itself that's how the burr looks like so let me clean it quickly then I'll try to put both of them together in front of you so that's the new one and that's the old one so I used that burr for like maybe two three months now actually more than yeah we can say three months so it's a good chance also to look at it closely and see if there is any damage that happened to it or so. Seems to be clean, without any scratches. You can also confirm that if you view the video in high quality. Let me use another brush to clean it properly. Cleaner now. Yeah. So the same bird geometry almost, yeah. Just the same. Can we confirm together? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So same bird, same geometry, same seven cores. And the only difference is the coating. I'm not sure if the coating really worth the $45 uh, or the $40 I paid for it or no. Let's see that together and I'll confirm that also by using it for for some time because I think I'm not going to judge it directly by grinding a shot or two it needs some time to use it and then to decide whether it's really worth the upgrade or no so that's the shim I'm talking about see it's very thin and some people really lose it without noticing if they open the grinder to clean it so they sent two more of this so I'll put the three shims together but after cleaning the bird chamber to make sure to put everything clean in place and we'll see I'm not sure if this is going to affect the grinding speed also that's a, a good point to look at the grinder is slow due to the low RPM so I'm not sure if the burr will really help with the grinding faster or slower since the RPM is the same but uh, I think the best thing is to try things out and see so right now everything is clean in the grinder that's how the grinder looks like the grinding chamber is clean and there's the burr lock inside so it, feel, it fell down I need to take this one out like that and they also there is the three uh, springs so that's a very important part because this one locks the burr in place so it doesn't keep on rotating away from the shaft yeah so I put back the springs like that and the grinder comes with extra springs in the box if I if I'm correct I think yeah so just need to make sure they are all in place 
So let's put the shims first. Actually, let's put first the, the sweeper. See the bird lock should come here. And there is also a part here, like there is a groove here, if you can see it. Yeah. You see it? this here exactly. So I should put this one and then align it with the groove like that. So I can put the burr, I can put the burr lock first. Yes, like that. So it's locked in place. So this one is going to move only with the, the burr when the burr shaft moves. That's a good thing. Sometimes because of these tiny pieces, they fall down while you clean the grinder and then you figure out, you don't know how to figure out what's wrong and you end up with the grinder broken apart and you cannot even put it back together or you suffer from the performance issues after that. So I'm going to put the, the shims back in place along with the old one. So I have three shims right now. Not sure how long or how big of an impact this is going to happen. Should I use only two? I think I'll, I'll put another shim only now or should I put the three? Actually, let's put the three and see. So um, I'll put the shims like that. So the, sh the three shims are now in place. When we close the grinder, actually, it will it'll be visible for us to see if the if the grind if the if the zero point is going to change a lot or not. So now let's put the new burr carrier. That's the titanium coated burr. And I'm not sure which direction should I put it to, but anyway, I'm going to just put a marker here like that to tell me that this is the right direction I'm using. And I'll emphasize the old one as well because the color is like disappearing. So if this is not going to give me a good result, I can change it like that or like that and so on. At least to know where exactly did I put it. So which direction? Okay, so now that's the first one. Now I need to, ah, sorry, I think I made a mistake. This should go first. And there's a, a, a groove here. This should lock with that one here. There's a part that's coming up, this one. So this actually acts like a, like a screw or so to lock the burr in place like that. Yeah, see right now it's locked in place. It cannot move unless everything moves together. So I'll put back this one. And actually, before putting it, actually let's do something. I think it's a good idea to try it. I'll use this jewelry scale to see if the burr and the burr carrier actually weigh the same or not. So that's the new one, the new burr. Let's see the weight of it. 58.48. Okay, let's see the old one. 51.17. So that means that the newer burr is actually heavier. Not sure if the coating is really giving it seven more grams uh, or even more or no. How about the burr carrier? Let's see that. So that's the old one, the one that's made all of stainless steel. And that is 163.96. How about the new one? It is 151.71. So the old burr carrier is actually heavier than the new titanium coated one. Okay, so that's also something to note about it. Uh, okay, so thank you, Mr. Scale. Let's get back to the installation. So I'll put those together. And I need to take this part to fill down. Um, okay everything out again because even this, this screw fell down two screws now okay so that's the the it's not actually a screw it's just a metal piece that locks the burr this one and that one is the one that locks the sweeper see they are different one is like square shaped and the other one is like a, a round shape okay so first i'll put the sweeper and I'll make sure to align the groove again, like that. And then I'll put the lock of the sweeper. And then 
I'll add the shims, the three shims, put them all together nicely, and then add the burlock. So just put it here. Yeah, this one. And then I'll add the new burr. This hole with the lock. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Then I'll add the new carrier, the other burr. And then lock everything in place, put the sweep, the washer and then the other washer, use the screw. This should happen anti-clockwise this time. So I use a chopstick like this, just a normal wooden chopstick, put it here to lock it against the sweeper in this hole so it doesn't move while I tighten it using the screwdriver. tight and then I'll add the bearing to close the grinder and I'll see the surprise whether the zero point is going to be the same at number one or will it move a little bit further because of the two shims so it's the same zero point same number one is there going to be any change in the grind settings? I think the only way is to try. So first I'll try at 10 steps and see how the, how the grinding is going to be. Uh, I'll bring some beans. So it's always good to have some like commercial beans to try them out when you do things like this. And it's not bad also with milk based drinks, honestly. So, just give it a try and see. I want to see how much is that. First. Let's say 10 grams, that 10 grams. And see how much is going to come out. Without RGT and without with the grinder empty. So that's actually 10.1, let's make it 10. Okay, let's make it 10.1, 10.09, okay. And as you see, it's not running. So I'm not going to do it as a hot start. I'll tear the cup and I'll see how long will it take to grind. Color. Let's start. That's it, right? These are the ground beans. And that is 10.04. So only very little amount of grinds is retained without RDTing, without anything. We're talking about um, 0 0.05. It's like, yeah, very little amount. And that means that this is a very nice grinder. See, that's the amount that is retained. Let me take everything out to show you. This is the amount that's retained, it's here. This is it. So the sweeper doesn't clean everything. There is like a small slanting edge here. And that's the amount that fell down after cleaning. So it's a very little amount and very nice grinding. I didn't see how long did it take to grind. 
but this seems pretty fine at 10 clicks or 11 clicks 11 steps I don't have a groove sifter to see how much microns is that but according to the star seeker grinding chart a chart every like number should have around 100 microns so every number of these should be carrying around 10 microns from 2 to 2.1 that's 10 microns 2.2 is 20 microns and so on so if if the zero point is here and actually the zero point is actually not where number one is because the bird never touch at this point still so they touch beyond that but for safety reasons they don't allow you to let the birds touch each other and uh, i think i'll try the coffee Start to grind the proper shot with it and see uh, how is it going to be. Let's say I'll try at uh, maybe 0.7. Should I do for 0.7? Yeah, I think I'll grind some more beans. A normal shot that I'll extract it and I'll show you the first extraction with it. Uh, whether it, it really looks without any channeling, the extraction is going to fall all together or not. Let me prepare the shot and show you. That's, these are the beans I'm going to use. That's Kenyan beans, medium roast. Uh, let me try to use another scale because that jewelry scale actually like switches off frequently in, in a minute. So let's try to use the D Floyd. It takes three minutes to stop. I don't use it. So I'm going to put this coffee aside. And let's see how is it going to handle that first extraction. Yeah, I just need 15 grams. I use a VST 15 grams, so I'm going to use only 15 grams. Okay. So I'm not sure, it showed 15 point something, I think, or what? Let's see together. So I'm grinding at uh, almost eight notches, seven notches from zero. Seems to be very fine. I think it's a very fine grind, and that's why it's. Uh, try to give it some firm taps. 14.4. Seems to be a very fine grind, that's why it took. A longer time to grind and there is also a bigger bean that's there in, in the bird if you see it didn't get ground so I need to, to take it out actually and try again maybe I'll use the chopstick that's a problem with bigger size beans sometimes they don't get under the burr so they didn't get grind ground but let's uh, I'll take it out use So I just broke it with the tip of a knife. It should be ground now. That's my problem with big size beans actually. And I noticed that one of the problems with, the, with this grinder is that this part, I mean the... 14.7 if, if you noticed here guys 
There's a lot of coffee grounds actually here. See? I don't know why I didn't keep all these grounds. Maybe I need to do some RDT with that burr. See? The burr inside is is retaining a lot of coffee. Maybe that that's due to the bean nature. The bean itself needs to be uh, like rdt because the previous one was a little bit darker nothing of that happened the, just the previous grind so maybe with that kind of beans i need to use rdt and anyway the grinder i think comes with the, the bottle so let's keep it like that 15 maybe it's 14.95 i'll quickly prepare the pot Let's see the extraction. I think that this is going to be a very slow shot. It looks like the slowness of the of the grind shows me that this is very fine. But actually it can work well. Let's see. Still, VST is a little bit fast in, in flow. So uh, with these baskets I think even finer grind can go well. So the warm with the 8, the quickly WDT and then for stamper for tamping and here we go, consistent pot prep every time. Let me put the phone. <laughs> 